What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Odysseus, Cosmos, and his Robot Quest. They've uh, had a bit of an update to the game, and I thought I'd bring you back just to show you the beginning again. Are you fixing the Atomic Synthro... Uh, syntho Replicator? Yes, a bottle. But it is broken. No, but... Then why have you taken it apart? Ah, that is a fine question. I've done it in the name of high and noble purpose. In the moment, you'll see for yourself. Only, where did you get the assembler to get to? Did that assembler get to? It was just here. Get to? It's a complex and fragile device. It should always be kept in a sterile environment. Ah, uh, it's right there on the stool. Thanks. Alright. I have to sneak the assembler into the pocket before Barton starts squawking. Excellent. Now put it back. Now put it back where it belongs. Behind this little panel here. Just click on the device in your inventory and click where you want to use it. Okay. There. And there. Perfect. Now we'll turn it on. Stop. This is a major violation of protocol. Close the cover. Jeez, Barton, you're such a pain sometimes. Fine, okay. Now let's turn it on. Do you know the word atomic in the phrase atomic synthetic replicator means, right? Sure, of course. Now we'll get this baby humming. Baby humming. Don't get your gears in an upper. Here we go. As if the cover's going to help us when. What? Run! Fine. Stay where you are. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Probably. Odysseus Cosmos, what have you done to the atomic synthetic replicator? Just another few seconds. Yes, he did it! Fresh coffee, with just a hint of the atomic. You, you're trolling me. Coffee helps me think. Doesn't look that way from here. You have a coffee machine in your cabin. In your own cabin, which is itself a violation. And you're too lazy to even go make it there. See, but it's a useful kind of laziness. That's how great inventions are made, and small repairs. And a great big explosion is due to the carelessness of the ship's engineers. Explosions, repairs, what's the... Anyways, that's done now. I need to get some rest and take a shower. But you promised me yesterday you'd deal with the machines in here in the laboratory. So what? I promised you that the day before yesterday, too. I'll bring you donuts. Ha, huh, as if I could be bought so cheaply. Go on. The pulverizing unit and the spectrometer are not in working order. They must be fixed right now. Those would be... That is... Which of these things are we talking about? I'm quite certain you understand perfectly. This thingy there is one of the looks like the mixer, and this thingy here with the round green display right next to me. Hmm. Having thoroughly considered all aspects of the issue, I've decided to agree with your terms. I've loaded your current task to listen to the terminal. You can pull it up at any time on the ship and feed the rats. Fine, I'll do it. Now to work. FYI. To see all available items here, you can either click on me or hit the space bar. A useful trick. So, they basically um, changed up the way the game started and everything like that. We uh, were locked in our room, so we got to do uh, a bunch of stuff. I don't want to turn it off for a reason. It makes a sort of irritating winding sound. Kind of like Barton. Uh, no, I don't want that. The mixer. What are we doing? This is a dummy plug in the connector socket, and you have to take it out first. It's in there tight. No way I can get it without... Get this out with my fingers. Alright. Spectrometer. Uh, it weighs a ton. What's inside this thing? The combined burden of all my many errors? Let me try to turn it over. Uh, that's at least something. What's this do? Freeze! Sometimes thought about cobbling together crystal chain cryostasis chamber to, uh, out of the lab parts to get me through the long wait. But I really have no idea how long the wait will be. What? There's no one there to wake me up. Barton won't last forever either. Mass analyzer. I can't quite figure out what to, uh, what I'm supposed to do with this. Furman's last theorem. When I'm bored. 
I've already done what I wanted, and it was no easy trick, let me tell you. Try making this out of an atomic sauce guy. Although I suspect Emily, our biologist, might not be too happy about it. So long, and thanks for all the copy. Tastes a little weird. Might have overdone the positrons. If I don't try that more carefully one day, I'll mix coffee and anti-coffee. What else? Potato, onion, plant light, periodic table. Okay, let's open up the lockers. That's something that we should do. What the hell? Just gonna keep doing it. I'll take this part, no need for the others right now. Okay, so it's a computer component. Gotcha. Uh it's not the right part. Okay. This won't get me anywhere, but I could always sit here a while and work through some of the data we've collected. Okay. Uh, I don't want to turn it on and mix it over, okay? That's that thing again. What if I put it on the computer terminal? Nope. Outer space. Nope. What the hell do I need to do here? Can't open and shut it that way. There's got to be a button somewhere. Oh, wait. There we go. Rat food. Take this rodent food. And I'll feed the rats. Eat up, my little pink nose friends. Feed the rats is done. It's not your fault, Uncle Barton is a wooze. I strongly object to that characterization. I'm not a wooze. I simply have a natural fear of dangerous creatures. Now that's funny. My robot is afraid of mice. Like a girl in a 1940s movie. If you paid a bit more attention, you might have noticed that one of you was missing. Wait, what did you just say? Oh, just, no, nothing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Barton, listen. Uh, spectrometer number 280584. Do we really need this thing? We don't have any tests planned anytime soon. It's a highly crucial piece of equipment. The ship's uh, mission cannot be completed effectively without it. Adi, this is an extremely important piece of equipment. We even have a spare spectrometer on board. We even have a spare? Well, then why do you put me through all this then? Bring it over. Uh, we can just throw the old one out and be done with it. Negative. I'm in the event of a malfunction. The chip's an engineer first attempt to repair the malfunction. Ah, you're such a wet blanket. Wow, that sucks. Yeah, it would have been a hell of a lot easier if you just brought the damn thing over. Okay, so what else have we got here? Barton Quest. Uh... Don't hold back now. See what I'm doing with here? Um... That sucks. I really don't know what to do. It's kind of like where we were last time. Yeah, let's pick a potato plant. I'm not that hungry. There's enough food on board for years. Supplies enough to last six people several years, and I'm here alone. Barton may have the desserts for me, but he really does it by mutual consent. Haha. <laughs> Many times that this brilliant thing of here to talk about this is his rate, pretty much perfect for playing crossbow darts, and even has points written out for each square. <laughs> 
Okay, honestly, what are we what are we doing here? Let's look at the computer terminal. Yeah, was there not uh But hidden away from the prying eyes. Take that down. Stand on your head and wiggle your legs. That can't be right. Let's turn it over. Oh, much better than there's a uh, hidden button. Now, let's go inside and see what's in here. My tweezers. Sure, I've lost them in the maintenance bay. Turns out I lost them here. Sweet. We can do a little leather roll of polymer thread. Very strong and fine, uh, fine bound. Bound to come in handy, sorry. You are currently rummaging around in the garbage. First of all, I would never do a thing like that. Second of all, I already checked. There's nothing here to eat. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do this on the mixer. Cool. Now we can plug that in. Can't take it apart with your bare hands. It's not clear exactly what broke here. Well, then look at it. It's not all that valuable. It also happens to be broken. Okay, cable. Oops, the terminal's frozen. Oh, of course. Now I remember why I pulled the cable out. You don't turn something back on, it can't break. At least now the terminal will show me where the problem is. Ah, uh -huh. so now we can look at the terminal. I'm gonna do that. There we go. Um, type F interface network access restricted. Alright. Nope. Wasn't there. There's an error in the systems, maybe? Repair the mixer and repair the spectrometer. I don't get it. I have to find a screwdriver and unscrew the defective part. Okay, we go here then. Yeah, it's the same thing. Uh, what the hell? You're not thinking about smashing the unit so I have to bring you the spare, right? Of course not. You never rusty circuit boards even... How could your rusty circuit boards even think of such a thing? That doesn't do it. Oh, what else? What else? What else? No, no. I was hoping I could pick it up and put it in the mixer. <laughs> so if I was a screwdriver, where the hell would I be? Wait, what? What's up there on the intercom? It's my screwdriver. Okay. No, move. Hmm. Hey Barton, give me a boost. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, 
Oh, hang on. Hmm. I wonder if my rats would do it. Well, shit. What the hell, man? Nope. Um, what the hell would I do? You think you would be able to move that thing, but he's like, no, I can sit here on my ass and do nothing. What the hell, man? But I can't walk out the door, can I? Uh, so we got, I don't know what that is. Nope, no, nope, 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 nope. Oh, man. What if I did... Nope. Hmm. You can't reach it from there. Okay, I tell you what, guys. Give me a second here. I'm going to cut quickly, and I'll bring you back once I figure out where the hell or what the hell we're supposed to do. So I'll see you in a sec. All right, guys. I have an idea. I'm um, going to turn the volume up here. I'm going to check the intercom and scream into it. There you go. Take the damn screwdriver. Holy crap. There we go. Now, to do this. What is that? Let me try to press a bit harder. Broken part. Let's see what it is. Blue number five. I need to find a replacement for it. Okay. B six A two. The hell is blue five? Okay, hang on. Then how about we take that one instead? Nope. Okay, wait a minute. The model number is printed here. Blue number five. Maybe it's this guy. I don't know. What's this one? What the hell was that? That's what the hell? Uh, blue number five. Am I blind? Am I just not seeing it? I honestly don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna try any random ass thing. I don't care. It fits. No to replace. I uh, just have to give a little push. Damn, my screwdriver broke. Well, at least the part's been installed. I had an, and I had another one around. Another one of those screwdrivers around somewhere. All right. So now we had to fix the centrifuge. Is that what it was? Uh, hang on. Spectrometer. Okay. That's this guy. What's the problem? Adi, what is it? No. Okay, let's talk to him. Uh, if we go back into here. Mm. There. 
Let's get out of here. Nothing new popped up, right? Um. All right, again, give me a second. I'm gonna see if I can figure out what the hell is going on with this thing. Give me a sec. I'll be right back. All right, everybody. So what I did is I took this little string and then put it into here. Not much point in tying this to the con tying this to the container while it's open. Couldn't make that out. What are you planning to do? I was just telling myself, don't let Barton down. Okay. What the hell did that say? That's a great idea. That might trick Barton. Not much point in tying this to the container while it's open. Okay, hang on. So we push the button. Maybe that's what he was saying. Okay, and then we do this. And we go to here. Okay. Well, damn, it fell. Oh, well, these things happen. It's too late now. Hmm. That's really too bad. There's no way to fix it, right? A gratuitous act of senseless violence. Hey, that's my forte. Now we have no choice but to replace it. What do you say, Barton? I can tell you what I'm really thinking, but I'm a maintenance robot. But we both know, and uh, you and I, don't we? Okay. Wow. I can't English much right now. Well, then, unit number 2805A4 has suffered um, irreparable damage. It has to be replaced. Yes, sir. Ship's engineer, sir. Yay, finally. Holy shit. That was difficult, man. I'm not gonna lie. Mm hmm. I can fix anything. So it never works again. Come again? Response negative. You might have a sudden whim to fix me. As hard as I try, but sometimes I get it done. I fixed everything. Happy now? Happy. That was bad, Audie. Really bad. Hey, who cares? I'm cute. <laughs> you fixed the machines, but you broke my psyche. You don't have a psyche. You're a robot. When I'm watching you fix things, I only wish that were true. Adi, it makes me sad to think what you've become. Just like a laboratory rat performing for a tasty treat. You're right, Barton. It is awful. Awful that I still haven't seen my donuts. Where's your drive? You're striving to grow. Uh, your hunger for life. Another team building session? Awesome. If I get this right, you're talking about how I'm coping pretty well with being completely alone floating out here next to a gigantic black hole in a tin can that humanity injected into outer, ejected into outer space. Or did you have in mind how I'm slowly and inexorably drifting towards death here as I wait for the crew to come back? Something that may in fact never actually happen. Is that what you're getting at? Audie, I'm sorry. I just want you to hold up under the pressure. I'm holding up great. Donuts are a big help with that. So move aside. It's time for donuts, breakfast, and a shower. Breakfast, don't breakfast. Donuts aren't breakfast. Donuts are donuts. Stand aside. Nice. I know everybody on this island has a role on this island, so maybe I can roll with mine. I can lead with pride. I can make us strong. Are you quite finished? Damn it, Burton. How many times have I told you not to do that? How long have you been standing there? Too long. My apologies. There are matters that require your attention. Don't tell me another one of your rats gone missing. An unidentified malfunction in the ship's navigational system. How serious is it? It requires your attention. Act not that moment's peace. Not a moment's peace. That's what's having a regular job will do to you. Uh, I really, really hope... Do you hear me? I really hope you do have a good reason for dragging me out of my hot shower. Give me a towel and go wait outside. 
All right, so that's going to do it for this episode. It's another uh, first look because they did a, a great update to it. They've added in a little bit of the voice to it. They've added in the beginning part where you're not lost in your room anymore. So that's probably why I couldn't load the game uh, when I first tried. So, uh, yeah, sorry for the weird start on that. It just kind of caught me off guard when we uh, went in on this. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. And we're going to be looking forward to the next part of this. And I'm going to make sure I save uh, right now. Uh oh, uh, back, save, there, cool, it's already saved, we're all good to go everybody, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time, take care.